every student is really at this point in time just limited by the number of donors and the amount of budget they have. They are not limited by any inherent cap on the traffic. So what I was saying about, you know, if you, if you want to double the number of customers, it might cost you four times the money. That's what happens when you're pushing the edges of how much traffic is available. Um, they're not pushing the edges on how much traffic is available. Okay? I think they could get five or ten times their size before that $3.25 really turns into 20 bucks. Now, if you had a magic gumball machine and you could put $20 in and out comes a new Christian, would you still put $20 in? Okay? So, and then, but that's not all. Because, so, Marilyn showed you this morning, there's quite a variety of topics. Uh, and they're like basic, obvious, frequently asked questions kind of topics for the most part. They haven't even begun to touch the fringes. And the fringes go on for miles. Okay, so every student could be a $100 million ministry instead of a $1 million ministry if the donors were available. So, I'm going to turn this over to Marilyn, and she's going to continue to regale you with her story. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your attention. Go, Marilyn. Thanks. Thank you, Perry. All right, hopefully you got some ideas this morning. Perry gave you a whole slew of ideas of what you could do to reach people and to have conversations and connect with people. Uh, hopefully I gave you some ideas uh, on how you could use everyperson.com or everystudent.com, uh, even discipling people and startingwithgod.com. So now I'd like to go to the world. That was your I, I, we're going to kind of broaden our horizon a little bit. Uh, as you've caught, um, we have a different way to approach ministry than was available 20 years ago. If, if you looked at a crowd like this 20 years ago, you might think, man, I wish I would know who in this crowd is interested in knowing God or... Um, are, they have a, a problem in their life they're trying to find a solution for, they're trying to figure out meaning in life, they're trying to figure out their relationships or whatever. And wouldn't it be great if a little light bulb came on, you know, above the interested people's heads, right? Uh, but that's what's happening with the Internet, is that those who are most interested are coming to us. The search for God starts at Google. This person said, I just typed who is God into Google and got your website. I really hope you can answer some of my questions because I feel very lost at the moment. Uh, on everystudent.com we have... Um, it's actually become pretty successful because it's been around since 2000, so a lot of sites have a link to it. Um, a lot of people are sharing it. There's a lot happening in social media, but not in a, in a very intentional way, and that's, that's a gaping hole that I'm hoping to fill. But there are some good things happening. If you were to Google the word God, everystudent.com comes up second on the page right after Wikipedia. So that, that's part work and part uh, God's grace. That, that, you know, I mean, it's his plan. I mentioned that the site's in 40 languages and that there's 50,000 people a day coming to the site. Uh, our English site alone has visits from every country of the world. So you can imagine you go into 40 languages, you know, that's a pretty good reach. And that uh, we've been averaging 900 to 1,000 people a day receiving Christ. 
I do think it's a perfect environment for God to speak to people. Uh, you know how God speaks to you through scripture. We have a lot of scripture in the sight, even though it doesn't read in a highly religious way. But there's a lot of scripture in there. And, you know, I hear from people every single day. I could pull out my phone right now and read you something that came in today from people where God just speaks to them on it. Uh, I want to share one with you. This came this week. So I, I don't have to look back very far to get a, an example for you. Uh, Felix said he was a great student. He said, but deep down I was breaking into pieces. Life was becoming harder and harder. Countless sexual partners, lots of lies. Sometimes I would just sit alone and cry. My life was a mess. Then one day I was on the internet looking for something that can give my life meaning, and I came across your website. You introduce God to me in a magnificent way. It has transformed my life. I breathed fresh air, liberation, and freedom. I no longer look for someone to understand me. I now know who I am. Okay, we've seen a correlation from the very beginning, from 2000 till now, that the more people who come to the site, the more people who receive Christ. So... I know that uh, business-minded and marketing people in this room are going to be paying attention to why this rise, and I'll explain that in a little while. Last year, during 2015, we saw 22 million visits and 330,000 people receive Christ. Uh, I mentioned that we see people uh, from every country in the world, and, and this is the fun one. Closed countries, I've decided, is now an outdated term. And I want to show you, I did a graph um, combining visits from certain countries to the English site plus the language sites. So this is an old number, but in 2014, these are the number of people that came to the site during that year. Uh, from these kinds of countries, Saudi Arabia, 57,000 people, uh, Iran, 3,000. And, you know, I tried to run ads into Iran, and Google reminded me we have a trade embargo. So um, I'm like, oh, thank you, you know. But um, they still find it, you know, one way or another. There's VPNs and such. Uh, Vietnam, you know, 39,000 people. It just goes on. So... One uh, example, Abdul, that's not his real name, but uh, he's a grad student in the Middle East. I met him, and he said he went into an internet cafe to research scholarships for his PhD. And so he typed into Google search box, Arab student, and landed on our Arabic site, Every Arab Student. And he said, and this is him telling me directly, he said, here I was a Muslim and I am reading article after article. And I kept thinking, this is true. This is true. And he said, I sent an email to somebody on the site and then he got together with them. He became a believer. And he said, you know, in our country, it's not... Um, he used the word safe, but it's not common, I don't remember what he said, to talk with people about Jesus out loud. Like, you can't really do that very well. He said, so I decided to use the same method with my friends, to use the internet in sharing the gospel. I wanted them to know more about God's kindness, so I sent an email to each one of them and added a link to everyarabstudent.com in the email. I prayed that when they click on the link, that the Lord would touch their hearts. Okay, now, when I met him, he had been a believer, I think, about a year and a half. He had five generations of disciples. And by that, I mean people, his friends who became believers, led other people to Christ, who led other people, who led other people 
and five generations. Uh, on Starting with God, I mentioned, you know, some of the email series. Uh, the findables, I mentioned, um, I brought this up because it's too low on the page for you. And I, I said, these are people who want to help make Jesus findable to millions of others. So the findables, are, they're a great group of people, and I write them, they write back. And uh, there are now 5,200 findables. So the question is, where do you want to plant missionaries? We have 35 findables in Saudi Arabia, 22 in China, 23 in Indonesia, 54 in Malaysia, and it goes on and on and on. So what this means and what I'm seeing are people becoming believers on everystudent.com, going through the email series, growing, and now they're committed to sharing Jesus in whatever way they can with a collected desire to reach millions of others. Uh, and to me, why not call them missionaries, right? Except they're right there in their location having an impact. They're in 130 different countries. <clears throat> One findable said, Jesus found me when I was very stubborn. To change a Muslim, it takes the hand of God. Now I am preaching what I really hated, like Paul. And he said, we are on the right track. Let's preach the gospel. Okay, now I share with you a story that's really fun of what one findable did with these email series and with everystudent.com. Uh, I am going to call him Yared. And he's from northern Ethiopia. And you notice where Ethiopia is situated. You know, there's a lot of Muslim countries around there. And Ethiopia also has a lot of uh, Muslims. So he came to everystudent.com, became a believer on it, signed up for the spiritual starter kit. Then he signed up for the next one on living under God's grace and the spirit-filled life. And he wrote me this. Thank you very much. God bless you forever. Please do not stop teaching me. I now understand the concept of faith. Then he signed up for the Gospel of John series, which I just give scripture and ask a question for them to notice. You know, I'm not giving them big theological stuff in it. It's just I want them in the habit of noticing what it's saying. And he wrote this, God bless you. I am very happy. Thanks to God for being with you on this very amazing study. I got a compass to see Jesus in the Bible and wisdom for my journey. Each part is removing blindness from my life. Thank you. So then he signed up for How to Talk About God, because that's offered to him. And he wrote this. My eyes are opened now through your lessons. I started to teach your lesson on WhatsApp to the new believers. I'm thinking, what new believers? Uh-huh. Do you know what WhatsApp is? It's, it's a, a text messaging app where people uh, sign up by giving their phone number. Like, we would not do that in the United States. Like, you cannot have my phone number. Maybe I'll give you my email address, but, you know. But, but in other countries, WhatsApp is the most popular text messaging service, and they have no problem sharing their email address to, or their phone number to sign up. So that's how it works. So... Uh, so he says, okay, so I'm teaching your lesson on WhatsApp to the new believers. All glory belongs to God. Thank you. Go extra with Jesus. And then he wrote again. He said, this website, everystudent.com, is my journey. It is satisfying their questions and doubts. It is strength for the believer's faith and a way to non-believers to come to Jesus. Okay, so I said, can you explain this to me, what, you know, what you're doing with WhatsApp? I don't know that, you know, very well. And so he wrote me this. This study and websites continue to bless many of lives through me, reaching Muslims on WhatsApp. I tell you the truth, more than 700 people are blessed through this. 
I now have new believers, around 33. Their numbers are increasing daily. So I said, okay, can you like maybe invite me into one of these groups? What he had done, WhatsApp groups have a cap on them of 100 people. So he, by the time I talked to him, he had started 10 different groups. And he put a believer in charge of each group. All right. So then I said, can you invite me into one of your groups so I could see it? So I downloaded WhatsApp on my phone. And then um, in order to share this with you, I blanked out, whited out some parts on it. But in this, you see people's phone numbers. So I started going to Google and checking out area codes of countries. And I'm noticing 966 is Saudi Arabia. And I'm also seeing area codes from Yemen, Sudan, Egypt, UAE, Libya, and it just went on and on. I'm scrolling through my phone and writing down these area codes, amazed. And here's what he was doing. Here's what happened. In Ethiopia, in northern Ethiopia, uh, the language is Amharic. At the time, we did not have an Amharic site. We now do. <laughs> um, so he was taking the, okay, so in northern Ethiopia, a lot of people left northern Ethiopia looking for work. And so they moved to Sudan and Egypt, and they moved all around the Middle East. And he was connecting the, with them through their shared language of Amharic. He, was, <clears throat> he worked in a store during the day. I think he lived at the store also. And at night, he would record messages from every student. He would just read them into an uh, audio recorder and then post it in the WhatsApp group. And then when they had a group of new believers, he was sharing things from all the email series. And, and I asked him, I said, where did you get this idea to do this? He said, you told me to. He said, in, in How to Talk About God, in that series, you said, use your social media to, to share with people. He said, so that's what I did. Okay. So how did all of this start? You know, all this, the email series and people coming to it and all that. And again, the search for God starts at Google. As people search in Google, we can use advertising to bring their search to everystudent.com where they find clear reasons to begin a relationship with God. So they may search, is there a God? And then this ad would show up. Uh, six reasons God is there, not wishful thinking, evidence. Clear, straightforward, you decide. And they click on that, and it brings them to the article, is there a God? So our ads are answering the very question they are typing into Google. Um, and I think that's why, one of the reasons that people spend so long on our articles and actually read them in full, because it's what, it's what they care about. It's what they've been looking for. God has given us a way to reach those people who are searching at a cost of five cents each. Uh, when I, years ago, and this is where Perry's really helped, years ago, I was hiring an ad agency, and I think we were averaging 48 cents a click, 48 cents for somebody to come to the site. And I started seeing what Perry had to offer in training on Google Advertising. I bought an ebook for $500 back then. And I said to the ad agency, I want you to stop what you're doing and follow this. And if you will follow this, you can still be hired. <laughs> and uh, then after a while, I figured out I could, I knew enough by then, so I started doing it. You know, I took it over. And, uh, and then John is, uh, he's taken over all the Google advertising, We're running in 12 languages. And he has brought the cost down over time where it's down to five cents a visit. I mentioned that we have 900 a day and that the average cost is 
$3.25. Um, we're currently advertising in Arabic, Chinese, Russian, Turkish, English, Spanish. When I told Perry about this, he went, what? Uh, he said, how are you doing that? I said, well, we just have an Excel sheet, and I take the search phrases and the ad copy and then leave columns for translators to put it in their language, and then we run it. He said, is that working? I said, well, yeah, and we had 900 last month in Arabic come to Christ. I said, I think it's working. And, and, and and Barry said, I'm used to hearing we have five people in my Bible study, you know, and, um, and, and so, so, you know, that's why Perry uh, helped in, in helping us be more effective in advertising. You know, his, his training is just spectacular. And then even showing us how to then get in contact with new believers through the email series and how to help them grow over time. I'm just deeply indebted to Perry for how he has moved this all ahead. Okay, this is an opportunity for you. Perry has alluded to this, and, and I don't want anybody to feel arm twisted here. We have a message that changes people's lives forever, and so this is an opportunity to help them here. So I think it's a, obviously, we're all in this room because we care about people knowing Jesus. Uh, and so when I think of you know, where we can invest, where we can give. Uh, it's just, I think it's something God has just provided. There, I'm not smart enough to do what you've just been hearing about. You know, God just said along the way, okay, you need to know this here. You need to understand Google advertising better here. You need to know what to do with uh, email series to help people grow here. And God's just provided it all. And so... Uh, I, could, I could be up here for eight hours just telling you miracles that God's done uh, to put this together. So I don't, I don't feel like it's my site, you know, and um, I feel like God has really, this is something he put together. <clears throat> so what could you accomplish with $1,000? 20,000 people reached and 300 new believers. The reason for this rise, uh, there are people in this room who are giving to everystudent.com, uh, and they account for this rise because as we started getting into Google and using it well and more effectively, uh, there's also um, a couple of donors. One's giving 15000 a month and another 40000 a month. and and that really shot the numbers up, you know, and our ability to reach further around the world. So, to be honest, I'm looking for people who can give $50,000 a month or $25,000 or $10,000, you know, what, whatever is possible, whatever you're capable of. Um, and uh, the opportunity is just... It's just there. We're advertising maybe four or five articles from a site in 12 languages. And that's like the, this compared to what the reach could be and the number of people who are searching. I actually give you a screenshot of our Turkish campaign uh, so you can see where it says limited by budget because I see that every day in every language. Uh, so the opportunities there... Google's telling us there's so many people searching for the phrases that you answer on your site that you could be reaching two or five or ten times as many people if you had the funding. 